We gather here because of this mole tree. Wait, me? What? Everyone knows the sniffer is an interdimensional herd animal, feeding on the topsoil of hyperspace. Hyper inter to huh? I didn't know that. I uh, was I supposed to know? You destroyed the entire universe. I mean, the plan is pretty obvious. Ragnarok is gonna duplicate the egg. Creating an army of sniffers that'll sniff out all the torch flowers in the universe. Why do you think they're called torch flowers? There's no light. He uses them for fuel. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna go over here. This is Paragon City. My floating city in the sky. This was a really fun build to make. It really hit on that Minecraft nostalgia for me. The very first thing I ever tried to build was a pyramid. It was so long ago. All the sides were uneven. It didn't match up. I didn't even finish it. I went on to build a road to the end of the world, not knowing that it wasn't actually that far at the time. The idea behind Paragon City is this has been standing for a very, very long time. You've got different cultures over time fixing the pyramid up to keep it powered? Uh, I don't know. Hmm. We've got a Renaissance Cathedral, Roman Colosseum, Egyptian, Aztec. Think of the lore. I did this to create an insane backstory, rich in history and lore. Not because I'm terrible at building and I just wanted to practice some different styles. <coughs> To be totally honest, that is kind of the whole point of this channel. I don't like the perfect Instagram feed. I don't like that perfect angle. This is a beautiful thing right here. You see the light blue along the edge of the river? I changed the biome to look like a warm ocean. Now it kind of looks like running water going over some shallow water. It's got the white water rapids and then the darker waters in the back. That is purdy right there. Purdy. It's a small little touch, but I really like it. I left the water normal on the other side just so you can kind of see. What do you think? Water shading or not shading? I think I'm going to start shading all the water I do. I've been looking into and wanting to do world downloads for a lot of my builds, but I also feel like they're terrible and I'm barely learning how world edit works. This would be a pretty sick PvP map though, I'm not going to lie. Let's go mingle with the locals. I got to go see a merchant about a camel. You gotta add the ambiance, a little bit of the chatter of the villagers. Oh, and I have the most recent version of Mini Blocks from Vanilla Tweaks. Yes! It's such a cool data pack. I do want to start making my way to the center of the temple, though. There's a bunch of little stuff that I'll just never be able to show you unless this was like a 40 minute video. So we gotta get moving, let's go. I didn't want the whole city packed with houses. You gotta have some nature and a little bit of, like, archaeological preservation sites? I don't know. Yo, Emerald Fox, I haven't seen you in a couple thousand years. What are you up to, trickster? They stopped building over here because they found these weird statues and uh, they wanted to figure out what was going on. The Golden Camel, the Bow of the Archer. Yeah, of course. And... Uh, Broken sarcophagus. Uh, sarcophagi. Why do I not know plural? Plurals. Being the amateur archaeologist that I am, uh, and by that I actually mean I've never done any of that. I just like it, and it's interesting. You have to section off the areas. A1, B2, B3, etc. Yo, we found uh, an artifact in B7 today. We gotta make sure it's cataloged and in the right and proper order. It makes it a lot easier to try and piece the story back together. We had a good balance of the desert and the oasis, just so there's like a nice little contrast. Let's check out our goth renaissance sand castle. I thought it fits really well. Okay, end crystal decoration. Be careful. And some of these statues have been here so long, some of the people living here don't even know what creatures these are. I don't even think I do either. The reason I've been doing this in sections is because this is 32 chunks. Render. Oh, I need programs. I need to upgrade. It barely fits on the screen and it's so choppy. As I'm starting to see the whole scale of it all. Man, it's beautiful. 
The reality is I would sit here and spend another couple hundred hours on this build, and I probably will come back and revamp it at some point. But for what I wanted out of it, and the skill level I'm at, and the things I want to build now, I'm really proud of this one, and I'm ready to move on. I failed to mention just one tiny, insignificant little detail. The pyramid is a giant stargate, and we've been powering it up the entire video. Uh, what? The ancients found the secret. Find the math, you find the shapes. Find the shapes, you find the synchronicities. Find the synchronicities, you find the frequency necessary. To reach my home planet, to travel through the dimensions. The idea is the portal is alive. There's an ebb and flow of energy moving through the universe, and when this portal is powered up, it can breathe, much like we do. A great universal exhale. That's when we move through space and time. Ooh, one more thing I actually failed to mention about the Stargate. It's actually not a Stargate, it's an end portal. And I've already got about a hundred hours built into the next end dimension. Sweet.